Coming Back is a listener-supported podcast. To support the show and get exclusive access to podcast swag, giveaways, private grief hangouts, and more, head on over to patreon.com slash Shelby for Scythia. Support the show for as little as $1 per month and change or cancel your support at any time. Thank you so much for listening. Grief Growers, I am also setting sail on the 2019 Bereavement Cruise to join me and a boatload of other grieving hearts as we travel to Haiti, Jamaica, and Mexico. Go to www.comingbackcruise.com where you can sign up to receive more information on the cruise's sail dates, grief presenters, and onboard activities. I'll see you on the open seas. Hi there, everyone, and welcome to the season three finale of Coming Back. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Just like the season two finale, I'm going to share with you a common theme that I picked up from listening to our guests speak this season, getting feedback from all of you grief growers and from the monologues that I did at the top of each show. And the big truth for this season, season three, is it comes down to choice. The reality of coming back to the world again, of starting to heal, of getting connected and reconnected to loved ones and people we want in our lives, all of that comes down to choice. We must choose to do it. At some point, we remember, we recall that we are bigger than our grief and have the power to choose where we take it instead of us going wherever the heck that grief tends to take us. And that's something else that I picked up on this season too, grief growers, is power. We all have this power inside of us, no matter where we are in our grief. It's the power to choose, but beyond that, it's the power to steer the boat and the power to keep going in the direction that we've chosen. Choice is not a one-time thing. And choice post-loss is not a one-time thing. It's a practice that we keep doing over and over and over again, choosing to get out of bed, choosing to put our shoes on, choosing to walk out the door, choosing to talk to people, choosing to be honest about our story, choosing to join groups and community, choosing to reach out, to stop hiding, to show others where our hearts are really at. We all know people who have chosen consciously or unconsciously, to continue to be dragged along by grief, to let their grief define them in a way that keeps them stuck. Somehow grief has tethered them. I'm getting visualizations of ropes. Grief has tethered them, anchored them to a spot where they can still choose, but their choices are very small or very thin or they're breakable or they're limited by fear or by anger or a victim story. They have decided, again, consciously or unconsciously, not to come back. People look at me sometimes, they look at the work that I do, or the way that I exist out in the world, and they say, oh, you're so brave, or oh, you're so strong for doing what I decided to do with my grief. And I think a lot of what keeps people stuck in grief is thinking that you have to be brave or strong before you can start taking steps to come back. But that wasn't what was true for me. The truth in my life at that time was, I just wanted my life to look different than it did. I appreciated grief for what it was, but I didn't want to live there forever. I wanted to honor my mom every single day, but not have her loss absolutely consume the every day. I treasured my anger and the things and the truths that it brought out in me, but I wanted to connect with people again and rediscover a version of myself that wasn't so bitter. So I looked around for stories of other people coming back before this podcast existed, books, blogs, writers, movies, whatever came my way. And anytime anybody was able to come back from something that totally tore them apart, I took notes, physical notes on paper and mental notes too. I reminded myself over and over and over again that there are other people out there doing this. And while I didn't and probably couldn't follow exactly in their footsteps, because nobody comes back the same way, I had the same power within me to choose how I wanted to come back. The same is true for all of you grief growers. That's the big truth this season. You could be like Megan Devine and go down an internet rabbit hole until you find your people with your same lost story. 
You could be like Kim Scarrett and insist on finding symbols of life after death that comfort you so every time you have to do something hard, it's a little less so. You could be like Tara Cafell and create a space for your loved ones in your physical body so you're always taking them with you. Grief growers, there's always something. There's always something different you can be reaching for. I can't promise you on the show, and I will never promise you that it's going to be better than the life that you're living right now. But I can promise it will take you somewhere, and you'll learn something, and then you'll get to choose again. Do you want to keep doing that? Or do you want to go somewhere different now? Choose. Over and over and over again. Grief and coming back, it comes down to choice. And you have that power, grief growers, just like I do, just like every guest this season of coming back has, just like every human on this planet does. You do not have to be brave. You do not have to be strong. And you certainly do not have to know what in the heck you're aiming for. All you have to know is that you want things to look different for you than they look right now. And then you take one step forward. Yeah. That's perfect, isn't it? That's the overarching message for season three. So I encourage you to go back and listen to each of these episodes again. Where in each interview can you find these elements of choice? Where in your own story have you started to choose to do or have or be something different? Who or what reminds you that you have the power to choose. That's what I've got for you this week, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed all of the episodes that I was able to bring your way this season. Before I step away from the microphone for a little bit, I want to let all of you know that I'm not going away entirely. So just like season two, I'll be sending short mini episodes of Coming Back Your Way. They'll be called In the Meantime. So keep watching your podcast feed every single Wednesday for a new, never-before-heard snippet from your favorite season three guests. Another thing that you'll want to keep in mind, grief growers, is that I am hosting a giveaway contest, just like season two. So anyone who supports the show on Patreon right now, so if you're already a supporter, or if you pledge to support the show on Patreon before August 30th, you'll be entered to win a copy of two different books by authors that I've brought onto the show this season. The first book is a hardcover copy of Grief Works by Julia Samuel. She is the psychotherapist who shared the similarities and differences in grief between her clients and their different losses. And the other book is You Are Not Alone by Debbie Augenthaler, who lost her husband over 20 years ago and wrote a phenomenally heartfelt and powerful personal memoir. It's her personal story about coming back to the world again after his death. In addition to these two books, you'll also be entered to win a set of three coming back podcast stickers and a handwritten thank you note straight from my desk. This is just my way of saying thank you for listening to the show and for taking the extra step by supporting my show on Patreon. You can find a link to my Patreon page, which is patreon.com slash Shelby for Scythia in the show notes, or you can just search Shelby for Scythia on patreon.com. You can find that either way. If you are already supporting the show on Patreon at the highest level, that's $33 per month, or choose to support the show at the highest level before August 30th, you can absolutely join the two live events I'm going to be doing between now and season four. These are my monthly Ask Me Anything Google Hangouts. They're hour-long live opportunities that are exclusively offered to the highest supporters of this show, where you can ask me questions, you can get book or resource recommendations, or we can all just chat about how we're all coming back from different losses in our lives. Again, this is another opportunity for me to say thank you for all of the ways that you support my work. You will find July's Google Hangout on Monday, July 30th at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time, and August's Google Hangout Monday, August 27th at 7 o'clock p.m. Central. All you have to do to join and be a part of that is pledge to support this podcast on Patreon at the highest level. If you log onto Patreon, you'll see tiers on the right-hand side. If you're logging on a mobile phone, you'll see tiers in the middle of your screen. You support this podcast on Patreon at the highest level and keep watching your Patreon feed for the link to join us. You can get instant access to all of these restricted posts. These are hidden from people who have not pledged at this levels, but you get instant access as soon as your pledge is complete. And it's 
it's such a fun way to connect and to really see all of you and hear from you outside the show. So many of you I know are out there listening and I have not had the chance to meet you. So if this is something that's speaking to your heart, some one-on-one time with me, a place to ask questions free of judgment or analysis or criticism, you're like, hey, I'm looking for a book that relates to XYZ. I would absolutely love to see you, to have your ears and to just start a conversation with you. If you're looking for a free way to connect with me and hear more about my grief story, I strongly encourage you to check out the interview I did with Sunny Joy McMillan, who came on episode 44 of Coming Back. The tables were turned and she interviewed me on her spirituality and motivational Seattle morning show called Sunny in Seattle, which I absolutely love. And it's a It's a really, really cool conversation. It's a retelling of my grief story, but it's also a conversation about how to help people in our lives are grieving, why we don't have to be profound when we talk about grief, and really the the nuances of my own personal loss story that made it really tricky, but also really important that I choose. Here's choice again, make the choice over and over and over again to come back. So if you'd like to check out that link, you can uh, click the link in the show notes that I provided for you. Or you can also go to shelbyforsythia.com, click about and then click media. You will find our conversation under the podcasts and radio section. And Sunny, if you are listening out there, it was such an honor to sit across the microphone from you. Lastly, grief growers, if you have suggestions, questions, comments, guests, or topics you would like to see in future episodes of Coming Back, please, please, please send them my way. So many of our interviews here on Coming Back and so many of the top of the show sections come from your suggestions. And I would absolutely love to know what you want to know about the world of grief. So email me at shelby at shelbyforsythia.com subject line podcast with your suggestions and questions, and you might just hear them on season four of Coming Back, which premieres on September 5th. I cannot wait to be back podcasting with you. So that's all for this episode of Coming Back. Thank you so much to all of our guests who appeared this season. Megan Devine, Julia Samuel, Sunny Joy McMillan, Debbie Augenthaler, Kim Skerritt, Tara Caffell, Marnie Henderson, Ruth Unger, Michelle Neff Hernandez, and Chelsea Lee Trescott. And thank you so much to all of you grief growers and Patreon supporters out there who submitted questions and topics for the show. I literally could not do what I do without all of you and your stories. Season four of Coming Back debuts on September 5th, 2018. But in the meantime, you can listen to bonus episodes released every single Wednesday. Enter my book giveaway on Patreon. Join me on Google Hangouts in July and in August. Or listen to my free radio interview with Sunny in Seattle. Listen to this episode again. Just play it back on repeat for more details on where you can find me and my work between now and season four. Come sail with me and a bunch of fellow grief growers on the 2019 Bereavement Cruise by requesting more information at comingbackcruise.com. If you liked what you heard on season three of Coming Back, I would love if you'd support the show by donating at shelbyforsythia.com slash donate, subscribing to and leaving a review of the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or Stitcher, following me with email newsletters at shelbyforsythia.com, Facebook at Shelby for Scythia Intuitive Grief Guide, or Instagram at Grief Guide Shelby for Scythia, and above all else, grief growers by sharing Coming Back with a friend, because you never know what someone you love is going through. Thank you always to Mr. Addie Goldstein, who composed our incredible theme music. As always, my dear grief growers, it was beautiful sharing this space and time with you today. I see you. I am proud of you and the work that you're doing in the world. And I love you. Because even through grief, we are growing. See you in season four.